What's up YouTube? It's your boy Justin. I got another video for you guys today. Today I have a leak into the cabin of the 2010 uh, Lincoln MKS. We're going to be tracing it down and uh, we're going to be fixing it so that I don't have water inside this car anymore. So right now the water is like completely puddled up in. I had a bad rainstorm yesterday and uh, we're going to figure it out. <clears throat> Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I appreciate everybody that watches. Alrighty, so when we're taking a look at the cabin right now, my carpets they're completely like wet uh the other side is kind of worse <clears throat> but down here they're they're wet uh this one's not that bad honestly the sunroof is stuck open right now um it's taped off so there's no water actually entering through here i thought maybe these drains were the issue first uh, i do have a new motor i'm going to be replacing that in another video for the sunroof um but yeah none of this is actually wet i shoved the towel up here this towel is completely dry but still the floorboards are completely wet um let me see if i can show you guys on the other side if it looks any better or any worse actually so yeah so you see i got the carpet kind of pulled up here and i don't know if you guys can see there's actually like standing water down here um if i pull it out and i pull up like my hands are wet now and then in the front it's even worse um so yeah you guys can actually see like here it's like a lake down there so that's no good. We got to figure this out. All right, y'all. So I got the carpets pulled back a little bit more on this side. You guys can definitely see how much water is here. Um, I'm going to try to push this little plastic thing out to the bottom. I should be able to pull this back some. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand and show you. There we go. There's like a drain here. I don't know if you guys can see it's draining pretty quickly now. I'm gonna try maybe pushing it up from the bottom, see if that makes it easier. so that definitely seems to be allowing it to drain quicker i don't know if you guys can see i pushed it up from the bottom that seems to be helping uh there we go pulled it off even more so that should allow it to uh, drain pretty quickly now i'm just gonna let it do its thing um all right so what i'm thinking is there's two drains uh, i saw on the taurus asetro here and here on each side i'm thinking these are just like locked up if I look down, there's some like leaves and stuff in here. That's probably it. So I'm gonna remove these wiper blades. These are 15 millimeter. And then we're gonna figure out how to take this off. These wiper blades have been an issue. I got the screws off. Uh, I'm soaking them in WD-40 right now, but I haven't been able to remove them. There might be a clip or something I'm missing. I'm gonna do some research online and see what I'm missing. All right, y'all, so I got one of the blades out. I think I found the trick. I think you need to put the arm up. And then once you have the arm up, you should be able to remove it. This one's gonna be pretty difficult because of its location. Um, but I just like kept soaking this one and WD-40, and then eventually it just came up. Um, but I had to lift that arm up. And uh, there was like some rust and stuff in there, so that might've been what was causing the issue. But we're gonna go ahead and try to get that one taken care of too. One thing I didn't do that I should've done is I should've marked the location of where the wipers were sitting. Um, I didn't do that. Uh, so probably something you wanna do. Alrighty, y'all, so the same thing for the other side. I just had to like keep soaking it in WD-40 and wiggling it back and forth, and I was able to get it off. So. I'm gonna put this one on the right side. So I know it's for the passenger side, but this one on the left side, so I know it's for the front side. Alrighty, next we gotta figure out how to get this piece off. Uh, looks like we got a screw here, same screw on the other side, and then we got some clips here with some screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out, take this out, and all this is is just a regular screwdriver, um, cross point, that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we'll continue with the video, and I'll let you know what happens. Alrighty, y'all, so I got all the clips out. Um, these clips were pretty difficult to get out. I apologize about the noise out there. Some kids are playing. But basically, I had to, like, stick my hand underneath, push up on this while holding this piece still and then turning the screw in the middle, and then they came up. So, again, I had to put my hand through the bottom, push up on the screw, hold this here still so the whole clip wouldn't spin, and then turn 
this screw here and then they actually came up they were pretty difficult to get out i mean not hard but that's the the process that i had to use to get them out um Alrighty, the next thing I did after I got all the clips out, I just pulled this in through the side. This is the piece that's right here. Same thing on the other side. And then now this whole front piece is loose, right? So to release the rest, kind of like gotta put your hand in here through the back, slide it along, and then you'll feel where the clips are at. And then you kind of just wanna pull the clips up, pull it out. And then we got a line connected there. So we'll see what that's about. I think that's the windshield wipers. But yeah, look at all of this. Look at all these leaves. Look at all this stuff in here. This is probably absolutely why the water is not draining correctly. Um, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right, so I got some of this stuff cleaned up here, but I'm realizing there's a lot of stuff down here that I need to get down to, uh, clean all this stuff out too. So I need to take this black piece off as well. Um, looks like there's a bolt right here that it needs to slide out of. So I'm gonna try that. And then it looks like there's a clip here, a clip in the middle and another little tag on the side. So I'm gonna try to take that one out now. All right, guys, so turns out the only thing you need to do with this is you just need to pull it straight forward. So here, pull it forward, pull it forward, pull it forward, pull it forward, and it's gonna like slide out. I don't know if you could see like the little clips or whatever, and then you could like take this whole piece out. So I'm gonna do that now. Got this whole piece out now. Let's see what we're working with. Uh, yeah, so. It doesn't look too good in there, does it? And that's probably why nothing is going where it should go. And then what about over here? Yep, that doesn't look too great either. So what I'm gonna do now is, I don't actually have a vacuum here. So I'm gonna pack up and put everything away. And I am going to go over to um, just like the car wash real quick and vacuum all this stuff out. Alrighty, so I got most of it out. I don't know if you can see these big holes. Um, that's where the drain water is actually supposed to drain through. Um, so that's what was completely clogged on both sides. They have these little rubber things and these rubber things were completely closed. If you look at the opening at the bottom, it's tiny. I don't know why they made them like this. Like it's so tiny. So I'm just gonna leave these out. I'm not saying you should, but I'm saying I did. Um, I live in Florida, we get a lot of rain and I don't think that I need that. Um, the rest of it, I, I'm gonna use like a napkin, maybe some compressed air to try to get out, um, but it's pretty difficult to get to the vacuum with the vacuum. Um, but even on this side, much better. You guys can see, so I took it out on both sides, which should allow it to flow pretty easily. All right, everybody, we're putting everything back together. And what I kind of found out is this piece right here, you just kind of want to like lay it down in first, and then you can slide the rest of the pieces in. Um, when mine came apart, this one, this metal piece here came off so i'm gonna go ahead and slide that in here lock that piece in place and then i'm gonna push this in push that in and then we should be good to go on that piece then we're gonna put the plastic part on so i'll be back in just all right so we got this piece all in now um one thing that i missed before i had to redo it is this has this corner here needs to like tuck down under first before you can put the rest in so make sure when you're putting it in you slide this corner in that this piece here on the corner goes underneath here and but also make sure that this clip is above here and the rest just lays on there um <clears throat> and you just want to remember to line it up with that plastic clip in the middle slide in those silver pieces on each side the right, next go. thing we're gonna do is put this piece back on but before we put this piece back on we need to make sure we reinstall our line for our washer fluid don't want to forget that go ahead and do that now so i took it off from here and it routes through there so if i remember correctly it was like this all right quick note i made a mistake when routing this cable it actually does not go through this hose hole it goes through the hole that's right here i don't know if you can see it but there's a hole that is right here this is where it goes through my mistake <clears throat> so just wanted to show you that so that you guys could correct that too and uh there we go Alrighty, y'all we got everything clipped back in properly uh next thing we're gonna do is uh, pretty much put the windshield wipers back on all this is clipped in up here right um actually this piece is a little up i'm gonna check on this i think it needs to come down a little bit but over here is good uh, so go ahead and get those wiper blades on i'm just gonna make sure i adjust this correctly and uh that's gonna be pretty much it i think we're gonna dry out the interior after that probably gonna take the carpet out but i'll do that in a different story Alrighty, I'm putting the wiper blade back arm, arms on back on now, and I see there's some kind of like junk and stuff in here, so I'm gonna just spray some WD-40 in it, clean it all out before I put them back on. I put one back on, I laid it here. I'm not sure if that's the exact right position, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the other one on, test them out, see how they do, uh, and turn them on, tighten them up, turn them on, and uh, make sure none of them hit or anything like that. Okay, so I'm about to get these tightened down now, but one thing I did find that I figured I'd share, there's a little T on the glass. I don't know if you can see that uh, here at the top and at the bottom. 
this is exactly where you need to line up the wiper braids so you don't even need to uh, mark anything and that's how they look when they are lined up correctly and I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them down already I got the wiper blade arms reinstalled they're on um, they don't have to be really tight I don't know the exact torque um, but they're not super tight they weren't super hard to take off so probably about like 20 or so if you're gonna use a torque gun uh, torque wrench or whatever um, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot and just make sure everything is working correctly uh, wipers turn on and stuff like that and uh, then I'll start putting this cabin back together after I finish drying up the carpets all right y'all let's go ahead and test I think we should be good I did test once up before it's already working but let's go ahead and show you guys for the video sprays as it should wipers are working perfect they're stopping right where they should on both sides no issues there perfectly clean windshield and uh, I'm gonna call the front drains resolved um, in another video check the channel uh, a couple days go ahead and like and subscribe if you want to check it out i'm going to be doing the sunroof video so i obviously i can't do that right now i gotta wash my hands and stuff i'm not trying to mess up all the headliner and stuff get that closed up and change that motor i just want to thank everybody who watched my video um, if this helped you go ahead and press the like button subscribe to my channel for more content like this and um, i look forward to doing more videos on this mks and this entire process for me to do this took about an hour and a half two hours and that's with recording and everything leaving going to a place so you could probably get this done too um, no special tools required you guys saw just pretty much a 15 millimeter and a screwdriver so i'm really confident that the majority of you can do this at home and uh, i'm glad i'm able to help you have a great day thanks for watching